Hi, I'm Claire and this is my husband Nick. We met in an online chat room in 2001 and ended up getting married in 2006. We're a fairly normal, hard-working couple who love travelling and enjoying a drink or two. In early 2020, we decided we wanted a whole new life-changing challenge. So we said goodbye to our jobs. We sold our Wiltshire farmhouse we packed up our things and made the move to France. In early 2001, I went back to the UK to finalise our house sale and pick up my Arga. I was on Facebook on an Escape to the Chateau fan club page when I saw this advert. I messaged Nick the advert, curiosity got the better of him and he went and arranged a viewing. With the instructions from me, I trust your judgement, if you think I'll like it, put in an offer. The offer was accepted and we finally got the keys on the 10th of June 2021. Join us and our dogs Merlo and Flora as we renovate our Maison de Maitre. Last week when I returned from England I got a little bit of a surprise. Um, we had previously had uh, a guy come and quote to do some work in the front garden for us um, I won't go into too much detail because I'm just going to show you what happened. It was a lovely surprise. I really think at times our dogs are not the most intelligent. There you go. You can just walk round it. Flora, are you waiting for me to open the gate? No. Well done. Clever doggies. Clever doggies. So this morning, um, just got taking the fence down here which stops the, the dogs from going into the front garden because um, I'm expecting any minute um, a man with a digger to turn up and start scraping it back for us um, so yeah should be here any minute now so just before the chap comes to do all his digger work I'm getting up these few paving stones that we've got here which match the ones that came from um, around the front of the Maison de Maitre. We, we, our plan is to reuse them and build a sort of patio terrace in that corner down there. Um, so I need to get them off up the, out of the way before he starts burying them. It's like an episode of Time Team. Digging down underneath all of this, there were paving stones. Um, well, they're up now. Uh, time for a sit down and a coffee.
Wow, what a difference. Well, the naughty floor it took about two minutes to dig a hole under this fence again, didn't you? Didn't you, naughty Flora? What about you, Merlo? Are you going to dig a hole? Morning, bright and early, and uh, Digger Man is over there. He is filling in the trench that he dug last night. Um, we put a cable in the trench from about the corner of the building to the middle of the garden. Um, so that we can have an item fitted over there with electricity to it. Um, I did opportunity to do it when the whole garden is being dug up. So he, uh, yeah, dug dug us a trench and put the conduit in, and now he's filling it back in. Once, once he's done that, I hope to uh, get the rest of the area gravelled. I say, what we did last night is already looking good. I think. A lot tidier. Well, it's three days of work. Um, the guy's finished and I think he's left the yard here in a very good condition. We've got a lot more work that we want to do around here, lots of flowers and plants and things, but uh, it's a really good start and I'm, I'm happy with it. I think you'll agree that was pretty impressive. As I say, I was expecting when I got back from England for the front garden to be dug up but I wasn't quite expecting for all of the gravel to already be here. So now when we have sunny days and it's dry like today, wonderful day, I have asked my wonderful father to come up here and help with some more of the landscaping side to things. Now the, having the gravel here is fantastic because it's eradicated quite a lot of mud from the situation because when my mother-in-law comes for Christmas, I don't want my mother-in-law walking in mud into the beautiful new wash house. No, only the best for my mother-in-law. So over the next few weeks, what I'd like to do with my dad is have a footpath from over near this fence where the car can be parked for this independent sheet and have a path leading along into the sheet. And then have a pass further along onto a small patio area, which will be a separate independent garden for the sheet. So today's first job is repairing this path. So my mother-in-law can walk safely along this path because there's nothing but the best for my mother-in-law. apart from repairing paths whenever there's a sunny day um, I'd like to get some more of this garden finished a few weeks ago we went and bought all of these border stones and I'd like to go round from just where the gate comes in all along where the gravel is between the gravel and the grass and border stone all the way to the gate over there where there's a flagstone 
and then continue all along in front of where I planted the bulbs until where there's a tree here. taught me how to make cakes when I was little. Now I'm bigger. Daddy's teaching me how to make cement. Ooh. Dear. Oh dear, oh dear, there's been an accident with the concrete. A small dog by the name of Flora has, uh, has decided to uh, imprint. <laughs> and now we've just had a Merlot. <laughs> this, is, this is not looking good for construction, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Mello. Switch out. Switch out. <laughs> Mello. I think there we go. We've got the uh, the finished product. No dogs are allowed to walk on this. No Ooh. dogs. You. Look at that though. Doesn't that fit in? It's a bit wet at this end still, but anyway. But I said the nick it could have been done at ten o'clock tonight. Another yeah. job successfully completed. Once it's dry, it will be ready for my mother-in-law to glide upon into the house. Four people back today and, well, we've got all of this going on now. That's a filter. That's a pump. And there's some electric stuff. Hmm. Getting there. So we've had a couple of men working today on the pool. And what they've done, they've built concrete all the way around the pool. Um, and there, on top of that, they will be doing the um, sort of edging tiles. Um, but that concrete will need some time to go off properly. So... Uh, there we go, that's really all they've done today. A few days later with the pool and we have over here uh, a hard standing base for what will be the pool heater. Um, the pool heater isn't to keep the pool hot necessarily all the time, it's to extend the season life of the pool. So maybe rather than just using it in June, July, August, we can maybe extend it through from September until October at a comfortable temperature. So this has been fitted. We've had the guys back who have also come and fitted the margels around the pool, which are the, the top stones. And we've been told to start filling her. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we have 
had the hose pipe in the pool for the last couple of days now. Um, the hose pipe ban on the area was actually lifted on the 31st of October, so we're not doing anything wrong. And I can say she's filling up quite nicely. Yeah, we have these top stones, the Margelles. It actually looks quite inviting because it's a sunny day. But I bet you that that is absolutely freezing cold. So we've got to keep filling it until it gets to this orange tape here. So not long to go. And then they're going to come back and they're going to plumb everything in. Um, and then we'll get the uh, the cover on it for winterproofing it. <laughs> yeah i'm really pleased with that and yeah never mind that channel gray look it's blue it's lovely just think not long to go until summer <laughs> okay so back in the bathroom in the sheet um the grouting on the wall tile seems to have gone well. I've cleaned, washed them down again, and yeah, I think they're looking quite good. Um, so the, the next job where I've taped and jointed um, and filled the, the joints and everything, I'm going to give that a quick sand. Um, it might need a bit more filler, we'll see. But uh, yeah, I'll give it a quick sound and see where we are. They're not a bad job, not the biggest of rooms to do, to be fair. Um, I will need to put a little bit more filler in a couple of places, so don't think I'm going to be painting it today, but um, yeah, maybe in the next day or two I'll be able to get that done. Um, yeah, making progress. Today what I'm going to crack on with now is getting a bit of the plumbing done. Um, the pipes that are coming out of the wall over here, um, I'm going to get fittings on the end. I've got two for the basin, one for the toilet. Um, so I can get those fi fittings fitted. Um, and then see about um, connecting up the pipe work to the, the hot tank. Yeah, that'd be productive. Right, so that's a hot, cold for the basin, cold feed for the toilet. Um, I've already done those fitting for the shower over here. Um, so the other thing I've got to bear in mind is the hot and cold pipes for the kitchen sink are here and open so I can't just test everything yet. So what I'm going to do next anyhow is, uh, yeah, try and get this hot water tank connected up. Um, yeah, so let's see how that goes. So that tank of water is now plumbed in and I've connected the finished shut off valves for the toilet, the basin and then I've fitted the shower valve and as of this moment nothing is leaking so uh, I'm going to shut it off overnight and then come and see if that's the same tomorrow I'm not going to lie there were a couple of leaks on the way but I've done it now so good milestone good way good bit forward today so pleased with that um, I know I said no more tiling but I had to just finish off do that window sill that I hadn't done um, 
So that'll take a few hours to go off hard. Meanwhile, I'm going to start on the grouting. Claire and I went out and the colour of the grout has been determined. So, um, well, I've done the walls in here already. And we're happy with them. Um, so time to start on the floor, the shower tray area, the windowsill, the boxing. Um, get all of that done. Maybe get the ceiling. Out. And then this room's ready for the product. So, um, Claire's chosen anthracite uh, tile grout which is very, very dark. It's not quite black, but it's close. So, cleaning it off is a long process, so. been plain sailing today but I have got the shower valve control fitted I've got the ceiling repainted one more coat that should be that look it's plumbed in I haven't put the seat on it yet so at the moment it's a bit like French supermarket or service station toilets but uh, I'm gonna see if Claire wants to christen it um, so better switch off for that, but yay! It's after yesterday afternoon doing the path and the dog's having a little walk on it in the cement. Uh, my dad repaired the path yet again, but little did we know last night when somebody went out for the toilet and it wasn't Nick. His feet fit, his feet fit these paw prints here, Flora May. I think Flora May may have walked Merlot. No, get off. No Merlot. <laughs> Not on camera. Moody. <laughs> <laughs> so who did that, Flora? Who did that? It will now be set in stone and known as Flora Corner. <laughs> Merlot, we can do yours later. Good boy. Hi! Whoa! 
welcome to Wine, Wine of, of the Week. Week. And actually, for the first time in a while, we've got some wine. Yay, red wine. <laughs> I'm not, not sure quite how good it's going to be. It's called Lavender Merd. Um, something about there's some philosophy that life's too short to drink <coughs> wine. Um, so, well, we'll see how it is. We've got a couple of spare bottles of other stuff if it is as bad as the name, but uh, Here we go. anyway, mm-hmm. it made Claire pick it up off the shelf. Well, I just thought it was interesting, especially the uh, the label. I just thought flies to um, yeah. mad. <laughs> So what's that card you've got there? So, first off, a thank you to Rosie Coco from Florida for the lovely Halloween card you sent us. And, and the letter that was there as well. So yeah. Thank you very much. Very interesting and uh, very thoughtful. So we've, uh, we've made an effort today and Flora is in her Halloween dress. You may have seen her running around in it this week. And you can tell that she loves it. She's got a little tutu, haven't Yes, you do. <laughs> anyway, I will start opening the wine. <laughs> well, I hope you've enjoyed watching the start of the front garden transformation. Um, we've made good progress doing what we've done so far, and uh, it was a bit of a surprise to come back and see how it had changed. I knew that you were going to have the front garden scraped, but I really, really wasn't expecting to come home and see all of the gravel there. We had already talked about it and that was going to be the plan, just not necessarily now, anyway. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> it stops it being a quagmire over winter, doesn't it? Exactly. Um, and I think we've had a, a really good week this week. You've been back in the jeet. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and I, I had quite a lot of fun with my dad and the cement mixer, so there we yes, go. Yes, so did you, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> So while we're here, if you've enjoyed watching, please hit the like button and if you've not already done so, please hit subscribe, you can find us easier. And you can, if you want to, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, we've got no blue tick. (laughs) (laughs) Don't worry. (laughs) Um, Or on our website at www.theexpatwitches.com. There we go. Anyway. So let's try. Lavender Merd. Cheers. That's quite drinkable. So it's fine, this, but it's quite drinkable. It's quite drinkable, yeah. Hmm. I think after the second or third bottle, you will be brilliant. <laughs> Anyway, cheers, thanks for watching, and we will see you next Sunday. Bye. Bye.